Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Steve with you again in the shed. Uh, after last week's video which looked at some of the MicroMaster parts uh, that I'd received for review, I received my own order of the 4-inch mountings uh, that I mentioned in that video last week. And a couple of people have just asked to take a close look at those uh, before I actually fit them to the ship. As we did uh, last time, I'll compare them with both the trumpeter parts that you get in the kit, unmodified, uh, but we'll also look at them side by side with the mountings that I built last week using uh, the Pontos turn brass barrels and etched brass parts applied to the uh, trumpeter plastic. And they're the ones that are currently uh, fitted to the ship. So we'll go over to the bench, we'll have a quick look at these and later on in the week I'll be painting them up uh, and fitting them to the model to replace the ones that I did a couple of weeks ago. Okay, let's uh, take a look. So we've got one or two uh, other parts in here which uh, we'll come back to in a future episode. These are just the Carly rafts that are needed for the model. You'll notice that there are six here, that's because I've already taken one off. We have to be very gentle with these and just try and lever underneath them to release them. There's some sticky pads holding them to the box. You can see how delicate they are. The material that are used for these parts, it looks like some sort of plastic. I don't think it's resin, I'm not absolutely certain about that. It might be a mixture of the two. There's one of the shields come off as well. You can see it, you do have to be careful with these when you're trying to get them out. One thing I might do with these in future is just cut the box away and it'll just be easier to extract them I think. So uh, they're just a little bit easier to see now on the blue backing. These parts here that have broken off, they were on the back here, are four inch shells. So the guns come in two parts. Obviously the main uh, shield and base and all the equipment uh, in there. And the barrels are separate together with the breeches. As usual there are lots of uh, supporting pillars here which are used in the uh, production process in 3D printing and uh, these are very fine there's an awful lot of detail on them uh, that isn't present on certainly on the trumpeter uh, part but uh, it's even more extensive than the Pontos uh, gun that I built a couple of weeks ago. So we'll take a closer look at one of those guns off the base. So here's one that I've put together. It's just a case of slipping the uh, barrels onto the uh, sides of the mounting here. There's a very small pin on the side which just slots into a U-shaped cup on the inside of the trunnions. So let's compare them with the what we get in the kit which is this trumpeter part here. Actually it's uh, four parts all together and this is one of the trumpeter mountings modified with the Pontos set. If you want to have a detailed comparison of the trumpeter part with the uh, modified Pontos one, you can take a look at uh, the video that I did where we built these guns. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about the trumpet apart. The main comparison I want to make is with the Pontos. Now these guns took probably 
uh, the best part of an hour each to build one of the MicroMaster 3D guns will just require painting and a few seconds to put them together. So uh, not a lot of work at all. I think one of the things I said at the time about the trumpeter modified part was that you still have the uh, breeches here which are in the trumpeter kit so that's just the plastic that you get molded into the uh, kit as supplied. So the Pontos set does nothing to enhance that but uh, if you look at the breeches on the 3D printed parts there's obviously an awful lot more in there. So there's uh, a significant amount of extra detail on. The other elements that take a lot of time to build in the Pontos guns are the uh, fuse laying cradles which are these on the back. So you have to you'll see in the video that I folded this box up and soldered it and then had to fold the cradle itself and glue that on together with the actual fuse setter at the front which is here. The MicroMaster part obviously has all those but the actual cradles more accurate there were actually uh, three dishes that held the shell whilst the fuse was being set and I suppose if you wanted to you could use one of the uh, supplied shells to lay in the cradle you just have to take the uh, head of the shell off uh, because that actually went through into the fuse setter and the crew member who set the fuse was sitting on uh, the seat here at the front you can just see inside the uh, mounting there. They are provided in the Pontos etched brass here but they're a separate part which you have to fold up and glue in there and they're not the easiest thing to get located because the uh, gluing surface is so small on them See if we can get a view of that. The gluing surface is so small that they're quite difficult to locate. Whereas obviously here the seats are already cast in or printed into the uh, shield. The Pontos shields do include the side parts to the mountains which were just an extension to the Trunnions really and we also get the sights in there as well. The difference here is that the shield is solid you could cut them out I suppose to reveal the sights inside but that would be fairly tricky to do. Uh, on the 3D printed parts we have the sights inside but they're visible through the vision ports which are open in this case. So the two parts to the vision ports, uh, the top half folded up and the bottom down. And we can see the uh, sights inside. The tread plate detail is present as well on the base plate. And we have the supports at the back here. Uh, which supported the shield uh, and mounted onto the back of the trunnion here. Now you'll notice that in comparison the 3D printed part it's actually very slightly bigger, it's deeper and it also has this central band which separated the two guns. Now on the hood that didn't exist, it wasn't present on hood's particular uh, mountings um, but it's going to be a simple enough job to just cut that central part out so that it looks like this. 
Uh, so we'll do that. The only thing that's uh, missing on the MicroMaster parts and also on the trumpeter kit are these parts here. This uh, frame arrangement. And this fitted to the back side of the top of the shield here. And they were just like a little frame which I assume allowed a canvas awning just to go on the back just to provide a little bit of extra uh, weather protection for the crew uh, working the gun. So I can use these Pontos parts here. You can see that they're going to need folding through 90 degrees so that you get the uh, hook at the back faces downwards. So I'll just cut those off and uh, they should be easy enough to apply to the back of the uh, shield here. I deliberately left them off the uh, modified guns that I built last week because obviously I didn't want to damage them, fitting them and then removing them again. So uh, that's the only modification you would need to do to these guns. The other element that's uh, included in these guns is the actual uh, mounting pedestal or plinth here. It's provided in the uh, trumpeter kit as a separate part, which is this here. And it does have some quite nice bolt detail on it. We would have used those uh, to fit to the underside of the modified trumpeter parts using the Pontos kit. Uh, I didn't do that in this particular case because I knew that the uh, 3D parts already had the pedestal uh, or mounting ring already uh, provided in the in the part. So that's that there. We're still going to have to make the little square plates that these guns were actually sitting on. Uh, they weren't just round, there was some, you can see in some photographs, particularly of the number three mountains at the back side of the shelter deck, you can see that there was a square plate that these uh, bolted down onto. So I'll just be making that out of some plastic card. So that's the 3D printed part. I'm looking forward to getting those uh, prepared, painted and fitted to the model, which hopefully I'm going to be able to do this week. and. Together with the rest of the secondary armament, that should complete the uh, full complement of secondary armament on the hood. So they're a lovely thing. They're very time saving obviously, as I said this took, this mountain took uh, about an hour to build and we had seven of them so it's a full day's work to get the full complement for the hood. Okay, so that's it. That's just a very quick look at the MicroMaster 4 inch guns. And as I said, we'll be getting those uh, prepared and painted this week uh, and fitted to the ship. When I'm fitting the 4 inch mountings, I'll also be using some MicroMaster uh, 4 inch ready use lockers. Uh, there are 35 on the ship, and I built 15 of the Pontos H brass lockers. Uh, for the last three mountains at the back of the shelter deck uh, and I really didn't want to have to tackle any more so I'm going to be using uh, a full complement of 35 3D printed uh, ready use lockers and we'll get a good look at those uh, when the time comes to fit them hopefully at the end of this week. So hopefully I'll get the uh, majority of the secondary armament uh, fitted this week uh, and I'll show you that, I'll bring you that in part 27, which will be published on Friday, as usual. So I'll see you then for that one. Uh, in the meantime, have a good week, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.